When I first thought of the, the idea for the restaurant, I saw the, this lamp that's on the bar. And when I saw it, I said to my wife, I have to buy this. And she said, what is this for? And I said, it's for the bar. She said, we don't have a bar. And I said, it's for the bar of the restaurant. She said, we don't have a restaurant. I said, but we will have a restaurant, and this will be the lamp for it, and it's going to be a French bistro, and it's going to be called Café Le Coq. So I just saw that lamp, and I thought, this is it. This is the name. This is the place. Afterwards, I found that uh, the rooster is one of the earliest symbols of the French people and the French nation. So it's, uh, it's really fitting to have that name for a French restaurant. Oak Park is a fabulous neighborhood. There's, it's a, just a vibrant community. And what we've tried to do is bring a downtown experience to the suburbs so people don't have to go into the city. And I think that a lot of people appreciate that because it has the feel of a, of a city, like a little city restaurant. It's a matter of just exceeding people's expectations. You could come here and you know that you're going to be taken care of. And we're not going to look down our nose at you. And we're happy that you're here. And we want to make sure that you're happy when you leave. So, Taylor, you're telling us that you always have a great time at Café Le Coq. Tell us why you chose it. Well, I came across it by chance, and I'm so glad I did because I think all the food is so spectacular. Um, he serves up this traditional French bistro fare, and it's just as you expect it. You lick off your plate and you're like, that's how it should be, that's how pommes frites should be, that's how French onion soup should be, that's how escargot should be. But at the same time, he throws in this Mediterranean, Moroccan flair to you know, his steaks and his lamb chops and his veal, and it just makes everything so, makes all the flavors so, re they resonate. Mm -hmm. You remember what they are. They're not just any old dish. Well, Steve Chupetti, the chef, actually studied in France for eight years. He actually lived in France and most of the time in the southern part of France. So I think that's where a lot of his Moroccan influence comes from. Uh, I was wondering what happened to him. And when I went to this nice dining mm -hmm. experience, I opened the menu and the bottom says Chef Stephen Chiapetti, which that's a preferred way to pronounce it, basically. It's but, easier you know, in Evanston, I think. <laughs> so I well, still, I'm very picky about my last name. <laughs> so, but it, that's a different story. We got there about 9, 15, 9, 30. It was almost closing, to, uh, closing time, but unfortunately, I like to dine that late, as I say. The dining room was only having two tables left. Uh, the only thing that uh, slightly disappointed me is that out of all the tables in the dining room, when you see a couple walking in, you see me right in the middle of these last two tables that are here. I mean, you assume that somebody wants to come in and have a dining experience, especially man and woman, they want to have a little romantic time, a little bit away from them, and we were seated right by the kitchen. But that's the only problem that I had and the only mistake that I found that a little bit uh, easy to fix for Café Le Coq. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I been to many French bistros in France, in the south of France, mm -hmm. honeymoon there, and uh, when I walked in, I, I found the decor to be very similar to walking into a French restaurant. Now, um, I, I really enjoyed it. Now, I walked in at uh, 9.15, we were a little bit late. <laughs> uh, we did a Saturday night, and the place was still packed. We were at the, the booth um, in the back corner, and I sat in the booth and I sank in and it was so Very comfortable. Comfy. It's like a lazy Hello. boy recliner. It was, <laughs> this big pillow. It was yeah. way too comfortable. Yeah. I, it was just too nice. And oh. the, the problem was uh, I got an evil eye because it looked too comfortable for my wife. And so I, I, I ended up switching. Uh, <laughs> and I was a little uncomfortable afterwards. But uh, if you go, sit at the booth. Sit at the booth. All right. We got yeah. it. That's well, one of the things I think is so great about the restaurant, though. I mean, it's a French restaurant, but they don't act weird if you can't say anything. You pronounce it escargots. <laughs> and they don't care if you're lounging back on the seats or whatever. It's just a nice, friendly place. No, there was a nice place. For that point of view, I, first of all, Le Coq, which means, I believe, the rooster. rooster. And basically, there were roosters everywhere. I mean, like, you know, they were, well, like, on top think. of the shelves, and that's fine, that's nice. One would uh, think the restaurant's you know, named Le Coq, there'd no, be no, roosters. No, 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 definitely, I wouldn't blame that. <laughs> I was uh, actually trying to give them a compliment, though, because uh, the menu was perfectly spelled in French. And then also, the very good thing about it, the wine list was mainly uh, all French wines, which is a good mm -hmm. respect, you know, the French bistro style. So they were trying, basically, to stay as close as possible to the, to the French cuisine, and also with the wine. They're doing a very good job on that. What's fun is it's French, but it has a Midwestern sort of 
bite to it because, mm -hmm. like you're saying, the steaks mm -hmm. are bigger. Sure. Like the, everything's juicier. Well, in, everything's in, done bigger in the in Midwest. Europe, and, in, well, they're so everywhere in the United States, everything is bigger, unfortunately. Right. So basically, in Europe, the steak were also the thinner steak. also because the meat is much better here than Europe. There is no doubt about it. So basically, when you go in a restaurant, you have a steak about this big in Italy, it would cost you a fortune also. So basically, over here, you got a more variety of choice. You have Wisconsin, which is right around the corner. You can get a good piece of meat over I there, too. What's so. neat, well, what's neat, too, though, is the Cipetti family has that has one of the oldest slaughterhouses mm -hmm. in Chicago, Correct. right? And you actually That's brought right. that to my attention. I thought mm -hmm. that was really great. I mean, when you bite into it, you know there's something special Definitely. about the lamb and the veal. And now yeah. I know why. It's, it's, it's families. Definitely. I'm a big fan of game. The rabbit was wonderful, served on top of, uh, of uh, tons of pasta. I couldn't eat, I couldn't enjoy the flavor of the great rabbit, actually, because it was way too much pasta. And uh, not al dente, as I like it to have, <laughs> unfortunately. But I adapt myself because it's French, and definitely understand that. I had the steak classique, mm -hmm. um, and I thought it was just your, your regular steak pump free that was as good as you get when you're um, in France, if not a little bit better. The mushroom ravioli there was, was incredible. My, my friend ordered it, and everyone's fork was all, <laughs> all of a sudden going to, to, to his plate. The last time I was there, I really, I really enjoyed the bouillabaisse, which was uh, so great. So there's a rui on the top that's just this spiced uh, mayonnaise that just melts into the broth. So it's creamy and thick and really fresh seafood. I had the crepes that day and um, it was buttery heaven. I felt like I could just <laughs> drink the sauce that was on top of those strawberries with butter. And they do it table side and they're flames off on bay and they're great. Well, Tiedlin, uh, Le Coq was your selection. Give us a summary. If you want traditional French bistro food um, with, with the occasional fun flair, made by a Midwestern guy, I think this is a, a, the greatest place. You can relax, you don't have to worry about waiters looking down their noses at you. All right, and Jason? I think when you walk in, th the second you walk in, it's like the south of France, very good menu, um, you had a great time. All right, and Mario? Excellent service, very good menu, a few glitches to be fixed, but every restaurant has those, but definitely a place I would recommend, a nice place for a romantic, uh, also dining experience. Well, you can have the pomme frites and profiteroles at Café La Coque, 734 Lake Street, Oak Park, 708-848-2233, open for dinner every day of the week except Mondays, and for brunch on Sundays. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $31. Mm -hmm.